scissor grips and suture cutting. Items required. Pointed curved scissors. Right-handed standard surgical grip for the scissors. Third finger through one ring, thumb through the other ring, the second finger against the side of the scissors, first finger directed down the scissors, the little finger pressing against the ring at the back. That is the standard surgical grip with the first finger directed down towards the point. This is the standard surgical grip with the tips pointing upwards. You can see that the tips are pointing away from the hand rather than upwards. You then change to the standard surgical grip with the tips pointing towards the hand. Tips away. Tips towards the hand. The second finger is through one ring, the thumb is through the other ring. The first finger is pressing against one of the rings and the third and fourth fingers are directed down the scissors towards the tip. The thumb and first finger are pressing with the balls of the finger and thumb in the ring. This is with the tip pointing away from the hand, changing to the tip towards the hand. Going to tips away, to tips towards. This is the left-handed standard surgical grip with the tips pointing away from the hand. The third finger is placed through one ring. The thumb is placed through another ring. The second finger is placed against the side of the scissors and the first finger is directed down towards the tips and the little finger is pressing against one of the rings. That's the standard surgical grip for the scissors with the tips pointing away from the hand. Changing to the tips pointing towards the hand. Changing to the tips pointing away from the hand. And back to the tips pointing towards the hand. When cutting a suitor, it is often necessary to place the first finger of the other hand to steady the scissors as the cut is made. So the first finger on the side to cut, or with the left hand, similarly, the scissors supported by the first finger of the right hand like this. <laughs> 